Hello and welcome to this examination of the bull. The bull bull lager, a bold and sweet tasting lager for those who appreciate a full body malt beverage. And there is the new label, the bull. I don't know what I paid for it last month. It was expensive. Everything is expensive in this terrible economy. Thank you, JB, for your horrible money management inability. Uh, anyway, uh, it's got this uh, blue on charcoal gray and lighter gray uh, motif. Of course, Schlitz malt liquor, as it was originally called, always had the blue and silver and black and gray uh color scheme, but it's been changed over the years. So it says on here, Lager, the Stroh Brewery Company, the Stroh Brewery Company, LLC in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Well, there is no Stroh Brewery Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Their brewery was in Detroit, Michigan, but they went out of business in 1999 when they got bought out by Paps Brewing Company. So what, what, what brewery is in Wisconsin? is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Anyone want to guess? Okay, August 16th. August 15th, 2022 is your best buy date, guys. Then there's a code which you have to be enable intelligence to figure out. Um, uh, and then there's a warning. We're not going to read that. It's got the brown bottle. That's good because brown protects it from the light. And... It's got the bull. It says Schlitz since 1849, although this beer has only been on the market since 1963, not 1849, 1963. In 1963, they said they used, I'm sorry, 1965, scratch that, 1965, sorry about that. I think they test market at 63 to 65. All right, 1965. 10 malt, 10 malt varieties and four hop varieties. I don't think it's that complex today. I think it, now it's like six malt varieties and four, three hop. But whatever, um, it's only six bitterness units, 5.9% alcohol. Uh, there's no website listing. I got the uh, information off of the um, Crescent Crown distributing distributor website crescent crown is in louisiana and in arizona two companies merge crescent and crown merged crescent distributing obviously of louisiana crescent city new orleans there's a reason it's called the crescent city and then crown distributing of um Arizona. All right, I'm going to go put the rest of this in the fridge. Been sipping on it this afternoon. Now, uh, um, um, <clears throat> Crescent Crown of New Orleans, Louisiana, claims that this beer is sold at three stores in New Orleans. No, two in New Orleans, one in Gretna, which is next to New Orleans, a city next to New Orleans, more like a town, not a city. Um, and in many Baton Rouge stores, but none in between New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Used to be sold in my town, but it hasn't been sold here in probably 10 years. So here it is in the glass. Had a thick head at first, thick white head. It's golden. And it smells great. Well, let's look at the comments. Ronnie S. Yes says, I've been looking forward to this one. BC's Beer Reviews. Oh, BC's Beer Reviews. I'm sorry, Ron. I couldn't find none in my area. Well, don't feel bad because that is the case because Paps is uh, 
<laughs> a company that makes sure nobody can get their products. Great, great business scheme, great business model, right? Let's make a whole bunch of beers and make sure nobody can get them. And that's how we'll have success. And amazingly, the company's still in business, which is shocking in a way. AMC, AMC, Stonk says, cheers. Clink in the mugs, DP, quite a collection of bottles there. Oh, yeah, that's some of them. Whoops, sorry, backwards. Uh, some of them. Bart Robinson heading over to Delaware tomorrow to get some Blue Bull 24-ounce cans. Yeah, the bowl. Now it's called the bowl. I think it's excellent. Yes. Uh, I can still get Schlitz, you know, the regular original. Well, you know, the original recipe as it stands now since 2007. All right, cheers, aroma. It's very mild in the nose, but there's um, interesting lager yeast. Um, what is the adjunct? Uh, probably corn syrup, or as they call it, brewer syrup. It's not the kind of corn syrup you can go to the grocery store and buy. No, you have to buy it in bulk and like a, a train car. <laughs> But I think you can buy it from some homebrew companies too. Review your bottle if you can. Review the bottle? Yep, Paps Brewing is horrible indeed. Not the company's products, just their inability to, um, you know, make their stuff available. All right, I'm being joined by Beverage Ramble of Georgia. Hello, Mr. T, what's good, hey. my friend? What's good? This is great. That's what's good. <laughs> and I got it, in my, got it in my Schlitz glass. I have no the social Schlitz glass, but got the bowl. I wouldn't, show the, I wouldn't show the website, but since there is no website, you know that's one of the things with Paps that's been a big, big issue with any with all their stuff. They'll, they'll, send, they'll, they'll direct you to a site, and then they'll have the stuff on the bottom, but they won't give you a full, you know, you know, detail of what it was. And then they had another site. That had everything on there, and that's just you know. There used to be a Schlitz malt liquor website, yeah. but it got dropped. And it gave a pretty complex uh, description of the beer, but um, you know, I can't I can't control these companies, man. Um, if you go to forty ounce maltliquor.com, I think there's some info on there. Um, yeah, but it's it's not official. Okay, well, yeah. show or show your case. Plan. Yeah, I got the blue can right here. Uh, bought the six pack on uh, Saturday, I believe, since you um, yeah. last Saturday. And I kept it in my cooler, and uh, this is the um, this is what it looks I like. I get these in Louis. I cannot get these anywhere by me. So I bought these when I was on a road trip last month to Houston, Texas, an overnight trip, and I stopped in Lafayette at. Um, at a grocery store right south of the interstate called um, Budget Saver. And uh, they had Schlitz malt liquor in the 24 ounce can and in the 40 ounce bottle. So I bought one of each. And uh, when I went to uh, Houston, I was at McGregor Park watching the uh, uh, Texas Southern University play in uh, Prairie View A&M baseball. And I got there early, so the game, they were just like, you know, they're warming up and stuff. So I walked to this corner uh, beer store, and I saw the Gold Bull in right. the cooler. And I said, oh, well, you know, I'm buying that. Yeah. But I can't get either one here. But anyway. But, I, so but I it. Even, even the VSL, you can't get where you are? No, the only yeah. Schlitz product I can get here is Schlitz beer. The Gusto, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It. We we here could get um, we don't get the forty ounce, but we get the um, we get the we get the twenty five ounce cans, and we get the the sixteen ounce cans, singles or the the six pack. Yeah. Yeah. I get twelve. I get twelve packs. That's it. Twelve packs. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the yeah. Even the the, the gusto, the Swiss gusto is nowhere to be found. So, um, have you already given a history? Uh, started talking about the history of this. Yeah, it came out nineteen sixty five. And uh, they had a lot of television commercials in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and then that faded away. But it was very popular with the country club crowd, you know. 
I guess, as as we've well, as country yeah, yeah, in 1968, not by by 1978, it was becoming more popular with the uh, right the minority folks, you know, as you say, you know, the uh, of course, by the commercials that they they were doing at the time, um, they had some, you know, famous people, um, some, you know, what, you know, up and coming actors, you know, Kevin Klein. And whatnot, and of course, famous people of the day, you know, Don, Don Adams, you know, Mr. Uh, Get Smart, uh, Kevin, uh, David Copperfield, Alex Karras, you know, coming off the whole movie of uh, Blazing Saddles, you know, doing Monday Night Football, you know, he did some commercials and yeah. you know, very popular during sporting events. And of course, Cool and the Gang, I think Cool and the Gang did like three commercials. Yeah, you know, well, the, you know, yeah what, what the funny thing about Schlitz Malt Liquor was. I think it started out selling Schlitz, <laughs> and yeah. so uh, it was kind of weird, you know. But then, uh, but Schlitz sold out to Stroh's in 1982. At the very end of 1982, right after Schlitz had finished sponsoring the Who's Rock America tour and Fleetwood Mac Mirage tour, mm-hmm. Schlitz Light. Then they just sold out to um, oh, and Schlitz Malt Liquor in 1978 sponsored Van Halen's uh, original tour. But uh, Schlitz. Um, sold out to Stroh's and then Stroh's got bought out 17 years later and then Paps their business model is don't do any promotions ever all right but um and we as we get into the 90s you know obviously um they were still sponsored a lot of sporting events I think they did sponsor a couple of boxing matches um oh Schlitz yeah malt liquor yeah Uh, yeah well Stroh's tried to you know Stroh's tried to do it but uh but once Paps took over, yeah. I think and, even after Schlitz NASCAR, um, right? Things. Um, and, and then you go into the '90s, you know, when you know a lot of the the top, you know, hip hop acts of the day were promoting doing commercials, you know, for, for this and the other brands, the King Cobras of the world and whatnot. But there was a lot of pushback from some from the civil rights community, you know, C. Dolores Tucker, may she rest in peace, and a few others. I started attacking the rappers, you know, I said, you know, well, why don't you attack the other, the movie stars and the other sports athletes that are doing beer commercials. Some are African-American men doing beer commercials, you know, why don't you attack them, you know, or I doing the a, I, think, I, think, I think the problem is that some of these people think that the average American has no sense. Maybe right. the average cool. American does not have any sense, but they can't, uh, they can't think for themselves. So, the government has to take care of them, like banning menthol cigarettes. You know? <laughs> well, you know, and their their philosophy as well. Since these dummies can't realize that menthol is cigarettes are bad for you, we have to ban menthol cigarettes because these dummies can't realize it. Yeah. And that's the attitude that I think they really believe. All right, cigars are choice, cigarettes are choice. You know, whatever. Drinking beer is a choice. I could I could stop or I can continue to drink. That's it. Well, they don't believe that people have the intelligence to make the choice. Okay. Um, let's see. The bold 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 lager is approved by ABC of North Carolina. It says bold lager, the bold, it's a product type called beer in the lager class. 5.9% alcohol. I'm looking at a North Carolina website. Okay. Brand name Schlitz Bull Lager the Bull. That's the fanciful name, the Bull. The product actual name is Bull Lager. Uh, uh, it says it comes in 12 ounce cans, 32 ounce cans, 40 ounce, oh, I'm sorry, 32 ounce bottles, 40 ounce bottles, 16 ounce cans, 24 ounce cans, and 18 ounce bottles. And it is approved. The status is it is approved <laughs> to sell. You know, uh, you can give your description of the beer. I've already uh, kind of talked about mine. Well, I, I've noticed, again, let's go back when I started drinking beer, obviously, you know, earlier than that, than the legal age, 97. But, you know, early, you know, when you read a couple of nickels together, brought together. And then, of course, there were uh, people I knew, you know, if you knew somebody, knew somebody, you know, who could hook, hook you up at one of the, liber- you know, package stores and you, you got where you can get and, Schlitz was one of those beers, like Country Club, you know, like, you know, King Cobra and Old English 800. You know, you're in high school, 
you know, um, you know, senior, junior year, high school, whatever you bought it, you tried it, you know, you experiment, you know, with it, you know, and when you saw the commercials, heard the commercials and the commercials would air during, um, there was a video show. It was a video channel that was available over there called the video, the box music television, you control. So they had a lot of it, of course, BET and whatnot, and you know, all the other stations, whatever. But, um, the box was based out of Miami, Florida. So, um, so yeah, there were air commercials and whatever, and, you know, there was this curiosity watching, you know, I'd like, like to try it, you know, try this beer and finally did. Um, 1995 was the first time, you know, um, Coming out of high school, tried the Schlitz Bull, and I was like, you know, this one, all right. But, you know, never tried it really again. And then, you know, you know, I guess by the time, you know, you know legal drinking age, you know, whatever, and then never kind of swore of all, all this beers, you know, the malt liquors, whatever, you know, I was mostly drinking the, the Coors Banquets or the M M Millers and the Budweiser's. So fast forward to, 20 uh 2014 2015 when i started doing the channel um you know of course seeing you everything that you were doing and you know your promote and all your videos jay tried it and i i went ahead you know i suppose i couldn't find it here in our area but and then uh strangely yeah. enough you know went to um when i visited my brother in 2016 here i, I bought me a can and i went ahead and reviewed it and i thought this was a great product now sometimes mobile had it it was a once in a while thing you know especially during mardi gras they had the 12 ounce cans and i see it and i went ahead oh okay let me try this but it had an interesting taste and i don't know recently the past couple of years uh i'm sure you've noticed jay that it just has a very interesting hop character to it it's gotten yeah. very it's sort of an interesting hop aroma yeah they're saying it's six six ibus on the our distributor website but it tastes like it's higher than six you want me to yeah. show you some cans and bottles I have over the years? Sure, sure. Then we'll go to the final taste. All right, so here's one I bought in Oklahoma in 1996. Yeah, that's as old. Yep. Yep. <laughs> 96 or 98. Uh, that, that was, was what. Old. That was what you know. That what I saw in Jersey. Yeah, that was one of the. Uh, one yeah, of the it was on the uh, old Route 66 Federal Highway, and I uh, stopped at a liquor store, and they had this. Big 24 ounce can of Schlitz malt liquor bull. And I was like, oh man, I got to buy this, you know, because it's unusual. It's got a, a like the brick wall in the background, the mason. Right. The, uh, cinder block wall. And, uh, and it said, uh, you can see it's the old type. Uh, and it says, uh, the Strawberry, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Well, Ain't no strawberry in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So you no, know, it's not. And even then they were already contracting with Miller. And I like what it says, store in a cool place. Okay. <laughs> I did store it in a cool place. My refrigerator. Refrigerator, refrigerator. yeah. 5.9% exactly. alcohol. And this was from um, nineteen ninety seven, I guess. And uh I said 96, but I guess it was, yeah, 90, yeah, it was 97 when I went on that Route 66 trip. And, uh, but anyway, I bought this can. That was cool, you know, 24 ounce can. Then in, I went to Shreveport around the same time, Shreveport, Louisiana, maybe a year later or a year before. I don't, and I found this 12, a six pack. Oh, wow. That size bottle. Yeah. Yeah, those are no longer around, I'm sure. Yeah. No, well, they might be a six pack of a uh, brown twelve ounce bottles. So I had to save one of them. You know, I said, "Oh, I never see bottles in Louisiana uh, from this." So this is the Strawberry Company, Detroit, Michigan. So this is when they were still making it in Detroit. Mm. And I wrote to the company and they sent me a nice brochure with a bunch of art magazine articles and stuff. So I saved this. I can't get rid of this. You know, you can't, you would, you would never get rid of that. All right. Then, uh, then they changed the label and they went to more of this. Remember this one? Yeah. Yeah. That little dark, a little more darker right there. Yeah. 
Um, OML, OML yeah. original malt liquor, a little bit too dark, but uh, showed the bull and the bull uh, with his uh, male characteristic. All right, so anyway, uh, Schlitz the bull and I bought a few. This is when it was still sold around here. Yeah. What 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 made the decision for them to leave it? Uh, get 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 rid of Al around your area. I don't know. Why there? did they get rid of Old Milwaukee in my parish? We don't have counties. We have parishes. Why did parish, they get right, rid right. of Mil Old Milwaukee in my parish? Yeah. Now, now the the um. Then they yeah, came that's out the recent. That's the recent can. Yeah, and they still have those recent cans right now, which I am very sus sus suspect of some of those cans. I'm. Um, I wouldn't be so sure about getting them. Uh, <laughs> well, you might want to check your date, guys. Exactly, check the date. Exactly, exactly. And uh, it's uh, this one says Best Buy October thirtieth, twenty seventeen. Yeah. yeah. So that was, uh, and of course, to the current design, which I really like. I really like the current design, what they've done, and changed it to bold. I like yeah. the, the bold. Here's the, bottle, here's the bottle version of that new design bottled i found this i found this in baton rouge i think um yeah my sister-in-law stays in shreveport and um oh, shreveport. Uh, hopefully one day i will make my way down to, i mean she comes up to visit in georgia to visit my, my my brother and her sister look at the size but 18 ounce yeah yeah so then i had that and uh, this one is best by um Best by uh, October first of twenty twelve. Oh wow, that's ten years, almost ten years ago. Okay, so then, um, okay, and then of course last month in Shreveport, uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, I got yeah a little bit. the bowl. Well, at, least, at least it's still in Louisiana, but like you said, it's not near you, so you have to go. You know, when you're visiting, you know, I have to. Right. Yeah, hundred. I had a uh, hundred and six miles. I don't think I'm gonna drive. No, 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 no. no. It's less small good. liquor. The bull. All right, but um, but apparently, according to uh, the the distributor, I only have to drive maybe thirty six miles or twenty six miles. To get <laughs> they claim. They claim. All right, now, so I'm gonna give a little taste in a little bit in a final score, uh, and I'm gonna let you kind of do it for a little bit, and then we'll give the final score. Okay. Well, like I said, the taste is good. Like I said, it has a very hot variety to it that is kind of very interesting. I thought, you know, mm. and, and it just has a very, it, it's a good finish, very easy and very clean. It's not, you know, you know my feelings about Mickey's. I think Mickey's is far superior, but this has been around, well, yeah. I guess Mickey's has been around, I you know, maybe a short amount. No, this has been around, long, no. This has been around longer yeah, than Mickey. Mickey's Mickey only came three out seventy sixty two, right? Yeah, only three years older. Three years, so yeah, so but still, the ABV is not overly bad at five point nine percent. It is really easy, really smooth, and the hop character is just kind of gives us just a it just a like wow. And also, let's be frank, um, the, the 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 you know the volume. Why these beers? You know, yeah, they're 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 sort of a, a niche product in a way because you look at the right. volume, it's not compared to your other budget or your premium beers. You know, the Budweiser, the Miller High Life, or the uh, Paps Blue Ribbon. Um, yeah, you know, but you those volumes you know, are. Yeah, you know, it's the funny thing about Matherns now. Matherns, I think you went there when when you came. I think yeah, you went yeah, you sure I went there with you yes. They they deal they deal mostly with like expensive fancy pants beers, you know. But they carry they've always done this since I started shopping it. They always carried the steel reserve to eleven. The six percent. Yeah, and well, that's all you can get in Louisiana. And they've always carried Mickey's. So, you know, but they don't carry any other malt liquor. But it's they used to carry Ice House Edge, but that of course. But, uh, but they carry, uh, but they do carry two malt liquors. Now, most of what they carry is expensive craft beers, you know. Yeah. And of course, Budweiser and Bud Light, every store in America carries that. But anyway, all right, I'm pouring. I'll let you talk and give your final assessment. So, like I said, this is just a, a really good product. And again, I don't get this a lot. 
you know, the other beers I will get, you know, you know, for the bang, you know, um, some, maybe sometimes I'll get an ice beer, but most times I will get, you know, the old Milwaukee or, you know, the Miller High Life or the Genesee Cream Ale. Recently I've been trying a lot of these, IP, you know, IPAs I've been getting, uh, you know, a lot, you know, quite a bit of them. Um, yeah. But but just for a budget of sit down, watching a game, eating popcorn, this is good. Um, or, you know, want to eat with some, you know, fried fish or fried shrimp. I wouldn't do I wouldn't do the extra strong. I'm I'm so, I, look, I'm I'm done, completely done with the high gravity. I, I'm done, done, done. Oh man. So I'm gonna be alone next. I'm gonna be alone next Wednesday, huh? Oh well. No, well, no, next Wednesday I will get, but it'll be one can. But I, I don't plan doing any more high gravity. That, that you, did more than, you did more than one can. The the no more because that, that if you're doing the high gravity, it has to be something really spicy to pair that with, you know, really hot. But but this was some mild, mild seafood you can do it with. This is a good beer, so um, good flavor. And uh, I guess you want me to give you my score right now, or yeah, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do the score, and then I'm gonna let you do the score. So, anyway, um, So y'all see my collection. I think there's more in my collection than this, but I have a lot of cans and bottles from Schlitz Malt Liquor, okay? When we get to the Gold Bowl next week, the Gold Bowl was introduced in 2005. Yeah, and I, I would do the that. ice bowl. I would do the ice bowl and I would do the I can't, red bowl. I can't get that. I can't get that anymore. That that I can't get I can't get the, I can only get the gold and the blue. All right. Said, there is the still red, the red was out of date when I was here when I did that review a year ago. That was you know, and I think that's been discontinued. And the, the ice, no, I think it no. here is really, hmm? It's not discontinued. It's not, it's not because okay. Bibulous, Brian, Bibulous Brian did a review of it recently, and he did the uh, ice bowl, so they're still around. The ice bowl, another one that's very hard here in Georgia to get. I got it in 2016 when I visited my brother, uh, my older brother, Danny. And uh, it was fresh, and I, you know, I got a lot of reviews for that one, uh, but they just like all the the budget beers that I review, I get a lot of reviews. Uh, but yeah, the ice one was 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 very interesting. Um, but but right now it's just the blue and the gold are probably the two more common, and the gold is extremely harsh. Uh, but again, it's a once in a while thing. Not not every right, day. Uh, wow. right. Uh, Fabulous, Brian. You did hear your name because you reviewed the uh, you reviewed the the Red Bull and the Ice Bowl, and um, we can't get that in Louisiana, and we've never gotten it in Louisiana. So, uh, yes, I watch your. I always watch his reviews. You know, he does a good job. Now, um, he does a really good job, and um, he's a member of Alcohol Legs. Okay, now, oh. This 40 ounce bottle, this is the only beer I've drank all day. But where do I go to? Where what's going on, Sean? Where am I? <laughs> Just kidding, folks. Uh, now, if it was the 8.2 percent, I wouldn't be kidding. Uh, I really wouldn't know where I was. All right, but uh oh man. Because this morning I drank well, I drank a <laughs> okay, I'll I'll give you a full disclosure. This morning I had a little bit of the uh, coffee liqueur in my coffee for the second cup, okay. the uh, J. Brandt, but it really added an interesting flavor to the coffee. I mean, it's like I was thinking to myself, I don't even know if I like this in the coffee, but it's interesting, you know. I only paid four ninety nine, you know, so um, I was really interested in enjoying it. So then after work, I did the rest of the. Um, Boone's Farm, Fuzzy Navel. Well, that's only 3.9%. That's basically like not drinking any liquor, alcohol. I mean, it was only like four ounces anyway. So then, uh, so tomorrow I have to do the Strawberry Hill video. So then uh, I start working on the 40 ounce of this. All right. So I'll say, all right, got two hours till showtime. Start working on the 40 ounce. So uh, here I am now. Now, um, it's got a really yeasty, bready nose. So there's a lot of yeast, bread. It's like if you went to a bakery and you smelled bread baking mm -hmm. in the bakery. So it has that. 
And uh, so you people that are think, thinking, oh, this is a cheap beer, only bomb, bums, hobos, and derelicts drink it. Yes. No, that's not true. I'm not a bomb, a hobo, or a derelict. I'm a hobbyist, and I'm drinking it. Now, um, and like, also, look at the awards it's won. And people, I, like, you know, people I, be like, you know, are kind of will be have their jaws drop, like, you know, what? That beer won an award at a, at, at, a, at a beer cup or the World Beer Cup or the Great American Beer Festival, whatever, you know, or in some international beer festival. Like, many awards, many awards. Like, well, uh, how is that possible? <laughs> the flavor, flavor Jean Pierre, what's happening right now? <laughs> Y'all can't judge me. You don't know what I gotta go through, man. No, um, the flag, the flag. Uh, oh man. Hmm. Call me tomorrow and see how I'm feeling. No, yeah. the flavor. You go. Oh. You, you, you'll sleep well tonight. You know. <laughs> oh, I'll have to. Uh, See if that BC commercial is really true because they're always running ads for BC powder. All right. <laughs> um, it has herbal, sort of a herbal hop flavor. Um, now they used to claim they use four different hops, but it's very herbal and like um, grassy but it's not bitter like so if you you're saying i'm a hop head i want bitter hops well they don't really use bittering hops that's why it's six six you know the number six how you do that six bitterness units so i mean you know if you want a bitter beer it's not it doesn't say that on the label it says a sweet beer a bold uh i don't know how bold it really is but a, a sweet tasting lager for those who appreciate a full body malt beverage well, I like full body malt beverages. Um, the body is, uh, hold on. <coughs> Feel some gas building up in my internal, in my internal <laughs> body. <coughs> um, the body's light to medium. So if you think this is a heavy beer, wrong, it is not. The finish is like mostly dry. Uh, it's kind of sweet though. So it's like 55% dry, 45% sweet. So it's not a super dry beer. If you get the Schlitz, regular Schlitz beer, the 4.6% alcohol, it's kind of dry. But um, the bowl makes me feel like I want to turn your bar into a car wash. Mm -hmm. Um Richard Roundtree, yes, that was the commercial, yeah. And there was another one, it was another popular commercial, one with um, Gregory Hines was the was the server, and Nell Carter was the, the she sung the, the jingle, you know, so. Yeah, I do want to listen, uh, yeah, I do for some reason want to listen to 38 Special and Sky. <laughs> What's the other one, Tommy, Tommy James uh, and the Shondells, yeah, and then you have Iron Sky Band. Yeah, yeah, the commercials like were good. They were a little absurd and absurd in a funny way, you know, in the commercials. But you know, and I do feel time. like Boston. I do feel like Boston threw a styrofoam wall for some reason. But anyway, um, <laughs> or a carnival, or, yeah, hey, or or an apartment complex. <laughs> now, Bibby Lewis Bryan is about to join. We're gonna we're gonna let you join, Bibby Lewis Bryan. Just cool it. Hold on, we're gonna let you join. We're gonna let you. Join. All right, so I'm gonna score this. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Jean Pierre, I got so much left. I'm gonna be honest. Why y'all making me cry on the internet? <laughs> y'all don't know. You don't judge people because they drink a forty ounce. All right, anyway, um. Oh man. Just kidding, of course. Just kidding. Not kidding. Just kidding. Not kidding. All right. Um. Anyway. Uh, the score, hmm. oh man, a 40 ounce, all right, um, I would have rather buy an 18 ounce, but they didn't have any, um, I'm going to score it, um, about, 
92 out of 100 a minus uh for the for the style yeah i think that's pretty fair uh, uh just beer overall in the style i wouldn't go lower than that i like I, it's probably the best of the four that you get the the blue bull still probably the best it's the classic the red bull i like the the ice bull i like the couple of times i found it the gold bull i like but it's too strong i can't handle it it's too strong if i drink a 40 ounce of that oh well, i have to delete the video but um Mm. And, and the, uh, you know, but uh, I like it. I would recommend it. I cannot get it. Thanks to uh, Pabst uh, incompetency. Now, uh, you can see in poor distribution, very much so. So uh, they, those, people, those people are crazy. Now, we, we, we better let Debbie Liss Bryan in and then we, you can do your score. How does that okay, sound? bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. Bring him in. No, but Ohio, I think. Hey, Brian, how you doing, man? What's up? What's up? I'm in Maryland. Okay. Oh, yeah, Maryland. Oh, Maryland. Keep crab. You, crab cakes. Western, yes. Western or yeah. Eastern Maryland? Um, well, it's really right outside of D.C. Um, so oh, it's, okay. it's suburban D.C. So, I, I mean, I technically you. Maryland, but part of the DMV. I got That's you. right. I got D.C., Maryland, Virginia, yes. Yes, um, exactly. How far are you from Glen Burnie? Glen Bur 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 Burnie. I'm probably about 40 minutes from Glen Burnie. I have a good, very dear friend of mine. She lives out there. So yeah, I've been, we've been trying to, we've been, you know, she came to visit me during her birthday in February. So um, we'll probably try to work things out. Trying to, She's trying to come back down here in August to come visit me again. So we're trying to work things out. Me and I mm -hmm. can go visit her maybe during the holidays, maybe around Thanksgiving. I don't know, but yeah, but yeah, yeah I, passed, cool. I, passed, cool. I passed through Maryland twice last year, and I actually stayed in Maryland in a hotel, mm -hmm. which was an interesting, miserable experience. But um, now, uh, Brian, you know I'm your super fan who comments on the videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna subscribe to your channel, man. Well, well, uh, you're the original super fan. I'd be. You were the first person who was not a member of my family, nor a uh, person uh, that I um, or a friend that subscribed and started commenting. You were the yeah, very just, first. Yeah, I just happened to see. I just happened to see your channel. And I started watching it, so I made comment. I always comment, you know, on people's channel if it's worth. I appreciate it. If their channel is worth commenting on. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I try my best. I I try to um, find interesting things to drink and to review, and I try to have fun, basically. I've noticed that. And uh, you have reviewed the Schlitz Red Bull and the Bull Ice, right? And the gold one, too. Oh, and the gold, but not the blue, not the original. Yes, I got that's the one one I have left. So I'll probably have that Friday. Yeah, and this, in uh, my opinion, is the best of the lot. It's the okay. original. Now, if you look at the old advertisements from the 1960s, they claim they used 10 different malts and four different hop varieties. I remember a few years ago, they were, I think they were saying six malts and three hop varieties. I know they changed it, but um, it's still good. If you want to drink a, a regular mass-produced, lager beer i think this is one of your best bets but you know if you drink a whole 40 ounce you might be well oh, no might no, be no, one no. the video later but you know the, I, those days are well behind me the 40 ounce days are well behind me luckily they have can size so uh yeah i can't i can't get past uh probably about 16 ounces yeah but i've been dragging this 40 ounce over the last three hours so a 40 ounce over three and a half hours i guess that's not too extreme yeah it's, it's not and, and you know maryland brian there's a pretty good area of, of getting a lot of good, yeah. good uh, doppel you know i guess it's a term right jay hell is doppel style beers mm -hmm. cold 45 most people know. call them malt liquors <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but the, the proper name. <laughs> Hellas Doppelbach. Hellas Bach or Hellas. This Hellas would be a Hellas right, Bach. Right, right. This would be a Hellas Bach. Yeah. yeah so, so. Uh, Mr. Beverage Bramble. Yes, yes. Georgia. Georgia, right? Yeah, I live in Georgia right now, yes. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I started my. Start, I'm originally from Jersey, and I started doing my reviews when I lived in uh, Mobile, and started following Jay about 2013, around that time when I, you know, started really dabbling, started chasing a lot of different things, and uh, some of the beer, and looking at some of his channels, some of the stuff that he was reviewing, some stuff of the, of the beers that I tried, like Turbo Dog or Harpen uh, IPA, all these different beers, and I started. Was seeing him and a few other people seeing doing their thoughts on that, and then uh, started doing my thing back in 2015, and here I am now, going on will be uh, seven seven years coming up in August. I've been doing this. So. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm new to the game, if you will. I've only been welcome, new welcome, welcome. The beers, at least for a couple of years. I mean, it, my channel started out with just having. An alcoholic drink, period. Didn't matter what it was, beer, wine, or a cocktail. And then, um, uh, twenty twenty one, I just started to just do anything, mostly beers, because it's easier. Really, pick up a beer, try a different beer style. Um, and I've been doing mostly beers, throwing a wine every now and then, throwing a cocktail every now and then. Well, I have cocktails every day. <laughs> let right. Me, let me. Let me be specific. I, I have cocktails like every day. The exactly. videos are beers. So. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. I'm uh, looking forward, I, just, I just subscribed to your channel. Look forward to seeing more. I'm looking forward to seeing more of your stuff, man. Thank you. Do you like old fashions? I'm not a big old fashioned fan. Okay. I was asking because my mother and my grandfather used to drink those things all the time. Yeah, pretty simple to make, um, but I'm not a real, I mean, a lot of times I'll just drink whiskey straight, uh, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. Easier. More yeah, talking about, talking about whiskey, I got a, a promo coming up in a minute. Man, I'm going to let Jean-Pierre, let's let Jean-Pierre do his score. Yeah, it's going to be real quick. Um, I think for the style. We appreciate you joining, and you're welcome to join anytime, anytime. Okay. Listen, I didn't even know how to join until I saw the comments and I saw I saw the link. So now yeah, I, I always put the link. I always put the link. The first comment is always the link. Okay, Jean Pierre. Yeah, um, uh, I think this is, this is, yes, this is really good, really enjoyable. Again, I don't get this a lot. Maybe here and there on occasion, but as I mentioned, the food pairings to compare with this, uh, I'm gonna go uh, 91 out of 100. This is. You know, are really good. I, you know, I'm very lenient, very more and more towards Mickey's. Like, that's good. 5.6, that's just perfect for me. Nothing too heavy, nothing too strong. And that's just a, a superb lager. So, prefer, as far as this is the bull, old school as it gets. And uh, 5.9, just right. Uh, the 8.5 gold, which we'll do next week. Oh, is no, no. Long. Yeah, but, uh, but still a very good. And uh, that Red Bull... Same ABV. I mean, you're, Brian, Brian, you're a lucky one to get that because that is nowhere to be found here. I found it, and I found out that date was out of date. So it, It's hard to find. It is yeah. hard to find. Even the ice now is also here. It was here a couple years ago, um, I, um, several years ago. I couldn't find I can't find it now. So. Oh, the hey. little ice? Yeah, little ice, yeah. But – yeah, 91 out of 100, very yeah, good for this style. All right, so we got a 92 and a 91. That wrap rounds off to 91 and a half, which is like 92. So we got good scores here for this common product. But, you know, most of the uh, mass-produced beers are common, you know. So, I mean, it's just a matter of going through them all and saying, okay, well, uh, what does this one have to offer? And uh, you know, and then you go to the next one and all. Um, there's not too many truly horrible ones. There are some that that were kind of ragged, like the Keystone Premium, but it's discontinued, and it deserves it because it was never that good. I mean, it was all right, but when it was like nine dollars a thirty pack, you know, it was all right. But um. But it wasn't really a very good and very good product. Um, and then, the, of course, some nice ones were just code, like uh, um, 
Milwaukee's Best Premium. I always liked Milwaukee's Best Premium. That had been on the market since 1891. No, I'm sorry, 1895. But Miller got rid of it, so I couldn't. I guess they said, well, we bought the company. It was about to go out of business. It ain't our job to keep them in the, and keep them rolling, you know. But um, all right. Now, as far as promos, tomorrow morning at dawn, get ready at dawn. You need to be up at 630 Eastern time. Get on the computer. Get on your phone. Get on your iPad, whatever you're using. Because at dawn, at dawn, I'm doing a blind taste challenge. And it should, it should be a mismatch, but sometimes these things are very tricky when you do them blind. But this is the Clan McGregor, America's favorite bum scotch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to say America's favorite. <laughs> I meant to say America's favorite popular priced scotch whiskey since 1934. Available at Available in Louisiana at all your local grocery stores. Sometimes for even dollars, but usually not that expensive. But it, you know, this is very cheap. But uh, it has been on the market for uh, almost ninety, almost ninety years. It'd be ninetieth anniversary in two years. Somebody likes it, and it's going up against a famous brand and this is a specialty product doers 15 year age 15 year age this will run you 39.99 a bottle so we got 9.99 if you can find it for that price these days versus 39.99 let's hope i don't go on there live tomorrow and do a blind taste test and get it wrong i would feel so shamed but but that's what's coming. And then Friday, and Bibulous Brian, I know you do, you said liquor, so, and Jean-Pierre does join us many times, many times. But Friday at 6.30 Eastern, we've got Fandango Friday, 6.30 Eastern, and we do any liquor, any liquor, it could be a $5 bottle or a $500 bottle, any liqueur, we know what liqueurs are, flavored, uh, mm -hmm. liquor is like usually 60 proof or less although they do have 100 proof but um any liquor or liqueur and we go on for about an hour no more than an hour and so that's friday at uh 6 30 fandango friday james p madonna always joins so i have a party bucket with a bunch of liqueurs in there and some straight uh whiskey so that's going to be fun and uh so that's it that's all i have to say so uh any uh promos jean pierre yeah, uh, coming up, um, I will, right now, I don't think I'll be joining you for, for Fandango Friday, but now Sunday, I definitely will be joining you. Um, hopefully, you like the uh, New Realm uh, Tank Dog uh, Hazy Imperial IPA that I uploaded on the channel. No, uh, I never heard of that. I never heard of that product. Yeah, that's a new product. The brewery, of course, New Realm, based here in Atlanta, Virginia Beach. Atlanta, Savannah, Virginia Beach, and I think someplace else uh, another brewery but anyway um i had done another beer from new realm um i well, still have the... that beer has got your sniffling huh yeah <laughs> yeah so or, oh um, no that, i'm sorry that's the cocaine that did that i'm sorry <laughs> I, apologize. I apologize it's the coke hey casey jones you know you know so yeah <laughs> blame casey jones but anyway um you know uh but I got that. I got the, uh, let's see, I got the Anchor West Coast IPA, the one I showed you. So I, I don't have that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, but a few others I can't remember a call offhand. So stay tuned to my channel. You'll see it. I will be joining you on Style Sunday, more than likely, I guess, uh, I guess from what I saw from John's message, uh, John and Neely. Oh yeah, he's got to go to all those baseball games, and I, I have, I'm gonna bring in the uh, Doe Bears Cake Stout one more time. Yeah, so I got, so yeah, I'll be joining you, and next week joining you next Wednesday, of course, that's Sunday, ten thirty Eastern, nine thirty Central, seven thirty Pacific, and and Pacific, and uh, next oh, week I'll you. Yeah, I will join you for the Global, seven thirty Eastern, six thirty. 
your time, 4.30 Pacific. So and then, and then to close out the month. Yes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To uh, um, June 22nd, we have King Cobra malt liquor, King Cobra. And if you can't get that one, you know you're lying. Just I can't on. get that one. I can't. Oh, yes. no. I Are cannot get King I am serious. I have been all around the DMV. I cannot get King Cobra. People keep suggesting King Cobra, King Cobra. I've been to so I'm many surprised. different packages. Oh, that's hurt. That's hurtful. That's hurtful. And then, uh, and then might go to nearby uh, Delaware see if they have it. I don't know, but yeah, you got two, <laughs> week, you got, you got two weeks to find it. I would, I would call my local Anheuser Busch distributor. And then June 29th, June 29th. If you can't get this beer, you know you're lying. We're gonna do Budweiser, examine Budweiser for good or ill, for good or bad, you know, whatever you want to say about it. And then in July, we got a bunch of exciting products. One one of them on the second Wednesday in July is something to do with a natural father, Jean Pierre, a natural yeah. father. No, yeah. I know that very well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Jean Pierre's like, nope. Nope. I can I can I can get Natty Daddy here, so yeah. You know, it's, I was like, I'm blocking him on Facebook. All right, but um, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, to close it out, but to close this out, uh, Bill Beardless Brian to showcase your channel. Any promos coming up? Well, I just I have my malt liquor Fridays. I'm going to have another one this Friday, and um, today I was supposed to do a cocktail Wednesday, but you know I didn't feel like it. Um, I will do a red ale tomorrow. Um, I have a Belgian red ale that I want to try and video to come probably around 10 p.m. Eastern time, which would be 9 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Mountain and 7 p.m. Pacific. Wow. Well, that's not too late. Well, I have, I don't know, uh, you know, if you, if you folks have kids, I still have kids in the house and I have activities. So that's why my videos post very late. It's when the kitties are asleep. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, I can understand that. Now my kitty, my kitty is 29 years old. So, um, when I go see her, I don't buy her toys anymore or little coloring books. She wants me to bring her. <laughs> she, she wants me to bring her a different gin brand in as a gift. She said, "Bring me some gin." I said, "Okay." So she likes. She's into that gin stuff. You know, a lot of girls like gin. I don't know why, but um, no, it's okay. just flavorful. Like if you. Find yourself a good one. It, it's flavorful. Plus, they come in many different varieties. They come very dry, then they come sweet, like the old Tom Gin. So, it's very versatile. Put in a lot of drinks. Yeah, and she uh, she likes all like the flavor gin, like orange peel or uh, mm -hmm. different flowers mm -hmm. and stuff. So, um, I'm sure she'll have some nice, expensive beers for me. So, I'll, I'll give her a gin. Um, Got to check with her and see what Sipsters. I saw another one from Sipsters, and uh, oh, but she, boy, she's into that cocktail culture now. Let me tell you, people are preferring to do cocktails. You know, they're kind of you know, throwing off the beer. They want to do a cocktail. They want to do different things. You know, you know, but, that's, but that's fabulous. Brian, but fabulous Brian still got some little kids. Yeah, well, they're not they're not little. They're in high school, but uh, they still take up a lot of time. So, um, yeah, yeah. I don't have any little kids in my family at this time, but knowing me, I'll probably have some new little kids coming in to play at some point. But uh, yeah, grandchildren, yes. Grand no, 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 it'll probably be actual children, you know. But um, yeah, I, I was hoping you, I was hoping there'd be grandchildren. Yeah, I, I hope so too. But uh, 
a lot of people have like a second win. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> I mean, to see you drink, you have a lot of stamina in the alcohol game and the beer game. So, I, you know, I could see like if you're still doing it with the kid game, um, you know, I, I'm done. I'm done, though. Yeah, I am. Well, it's a question. Well, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, it's, uh, it's all about. It's all about how it works out. All right. But anyway, uh, oh, here's some questions and then we out of here. I drink old Milwaukee's. Wait, let's see. Uh, we got Nina Yordi. She's warming up in a bush light. A bush light. Okay. I know a guy who loves bush light. I work with a guy who loves bush light. This guy loves bush light. Uh, and he dedicated to bush light. A drink of Milwaukee's best ice over the weekend. Well, that that one is a little, you know, Milwaukee's best. It'll get you kind of twisted because it's kind of like a, you know what I mean, Jean? Like it's kind of like, eh, it, it's not so mild, but it's interesting. You know, Milwaukee's best is interesting. Uh, yes. Can, can, can I get, get old, old Milwaukee, Milwaukee ice? ice? I don't know. I have not. I have not looked for old Milwaukee ice. I'll, I'll look for it. Yeah, uh, I the last time I bought that beer was in Ohio. Not Maryland, but Ohio. And it was very cheap. And it, it was the old recipe that was at 5.9. Now, Pabst and their eternal wisdom decided to repackage it, come out with a new label, and jump it up to 6%. From 5.9 to 6. I don't know what would be the reasoning behind that. Seems so minimal. But uh, that's what they did. So it's around. Uh, but uh, it's like looking for the uh, Holy Grail in Louisiana. You're never going to find it. Now, we can't even well, find it. you, you put the 6 in front, it gives it a different um, like feel, right? It's, it's a stronger beer. It has a 6 in front. It's kind of like prices, right? $4.99. Versus five dollars, it's only one cent, but you feel differently with four ninety nine. Right, like so four ninety nine, you got a real deal. Five dollars, you got ripped off, right? Yes, yes. So there you go. Yeah. Well, well, folks, we've been on for about an hour. We've had a very interesting experience with the bull. Uh, I would, I would say, if you're going to drink a Schlitz malt liquor i would recommend the bull because it's mild mellow drink a whole 40 ounce and not be too embarrassed on the internet whereas <laughs> if no, i'm serious if you drink but if you drink the a 40 ounce bottle of the gold bull and i've seen oh, those, I've seen those oh, i mean you just you know your channel's getting taken down but um <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> You know, some interesting behavior. Okay, yeah, he has been banned on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't need that in my life, you know. But um, so uh, I really appreciate Bibulous Brian joining. Of course, Beverage Ramble, who's always in the game. And uh, we have an exciting Stout Sunday for sure. And uh, the uh, Fandango Friday is, I, I can't wait to see what's going to come out of that party bucket. But uh, I bought it. I'll show y'all one more thing. Y'all want to see one more thing? All right. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. I can't resist. I couldn't resist because of the price point. I was at the store today and I, I saw the price and I was like, oh, like got for this price, I got I to buy it. I got to buy it. So I'll show you. Real quick. Something, something with core, I'm guessing, Mr. T, has to be. So y'all know, y'all know last month I bought this legend for $4.99. Yeah. Favorite coffee, uh-huh. And I still got half the bottle, and I've been putting it in my morning Which coffee. I'm sure it would be, I'm sure, Jay, you can infuse this with maybe a stout. Probably would give it a lot of flavor. Yes, that's true. But I've been putting it in my coffee in the morning. Only one cup. I'm not crazy. I got I got self control. But 
but I've been putting it in my coffee and it's been making an interesting uh, coffee experience in the morning. But I never start drinking coffee before 2.15 a.m. But anyway, uh, people say, what? What do you say? But anyway, uh, and then the next product, I bought this today and it cost me $5.99. It's bottled in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's made with real Pennsylvania dairy cream. And that'll give you a clue of who makes it. Pennsylvania dairy cream. All right. It's called Bartender's Best Ever Kick-Ass Mudslide. Yeah. I'm sure it will be great when it's super cold. If you want to blend it with something, Jay, or put it in a blender, you know, cold, you yeah. know, like slush, you know, I'm sure it would really go well. Yeah, and I got it for at least half price, and they had more than one. Bushwhackers are very popular. Yeah, and this is Down made here. with... Uh, this is made with fresh dairy cream from Pennsylvania. It's 13, it's a 25 proof. Premium rum, natural coffee, cacao, 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 sorry, and vanilla. So I'm really excited to try this next month. Mudslide liqueur. So, uh, oh yeah. Should be nice, man. Yeah, and y'all have heard of Pennsylvania Dutch. Yes. Eggnog, so that's, a, that's, I give it away the secret. All right, so that's it. Uh, going back to uh, shared screen. Not much else going on. Just like I said, uh, stages of my channel. I got plenty of videos to review, and I'll be with Stout Sunday. And I'll be joining you next Wednesday. So, Brian, it was, a pleasure, you, Brian. Brian, it was okay. a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Mister Ramble. Thank you. Yeah, and y'all two guys can connect. If y'all want to on uh, alcohol legs, because Jean Pierre is pretty active in that Facebook group, and uh, he's always got videos coming out like a machine, and Ian uh, does too, and of course you know me like a sickness. But uh, uh, so yeah, uh, feel free to join. You know, anytime. I mean, we, we kind of like open minded and uh, whatever you want to put out there. You know. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm yeah, trying yeah, to do yeah. the comments. I'm trying to do the comments. Gold Bill will get your attention. Yeah, it'll get you t attention. It'll get you in trouble. Uh, oh, these people. Oh, well, we have some uh, fellow. Uh, he likes to put a shot of whiskey. <laughs> All right. Um, I, uh, Isles of Fire, yes. He's a good dude. Yeah. Isle of Fire, been watching for years. Bart Robinson, been watching for years. Oh, Delaware has King Cobra. Okay. Oh, so I got, I, I am going to go towards Delaware next. I mean, I'm going to pass through Delaware. So maybe I will look out for the King Cobra. Yeah. And I would strongly recommend calling your local Anheuser-Busch distributor because they're very helpful. I've called them many, many, many times over the last 15 years, and they'll tell you, look, we got it here, 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 and I've gone to the stores, and they've got it. So they're very helpful, very helpful. And it saves you a lot of time and effort. So anyway, well, that brings us to the end of another exciting uh examination next week get ready for i don't know what's going to happen next week with the gold bull i'm mm -hmm. i'm so glad that I only ha i'm so glad that i only have 16 ounces <laughs> yeah i can get the 16 ounces but i'm just going to do one 16 ounce can i can get and that's it yeah too too harsh for me yeah so anybody wants to join with the gold bull don't blame me, whatever you say on Facebook. I, I ain't responsible, you know. You, you <laughs> so you're doing that next Wednesday. Next Wednesday at the same exact time, 720, 7.20. Well, maybe as late as 7.30, but I try to go on at 7.20. 7.20 Eastern Time, Schlitz Gold Bowl. The Gold, gold Bowl. So I, I know where I could find the bowls. So I, I, I'll pick one up. Well, John, that's great. We can have some more uh, partners. And uh, yeah. we've had, how many people we've had over the last uh, eight years? Like 30 people? Well, a lot of people, yes. 30 at least, yeah. 
Yeah. It's been that. Of, some yeah. have come, some have gone, some have come back. Yeah. You know, some have said, hey, you know. So some some were advised by their family physician to immediately <laughs> give up alcohol, but uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. But all right, well, y'all take care now, and we're gonna right. end this production. Thank y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.